Hello guys, and welcome back to yet another video again. Call of Duty Mobile just released its new Season 4 with lots of new settings and changes in maps, so in this video, I will show you. Top 10 new settings fully explained in new Season 4 of Call of Duty Mobile. So let's get started. Number 1. Fast Climb Setting. This is the new setting which can be seen in basic setting. This setting is not working yet, and if Call of Duty Mobile developers are watching this video, then tell us when the setting will fully work for both Battle Royale players and multiplayer players. But let me explain how the setting will work. So there are three options for the setting, that are fast, auto, and off. So let me explain one by one. When you use fast climb, then when you get near obstacle, then a separate climb button will appear above sprint button, and but clicking on that button, you can jump over obstacle. And in second setting, when you get near obstacle and keep sprinting, then you will jump over obstacle without pressing the jump button. And in third setting, you will jump over obstacle by default by pressing jump button always near obstacle. So let's just wait until officially an update comes where the setting will work for us. Number 2 FOV Curve Setting Before going to explain this new setting, Many Call of Duty mobile players are facing high ping and lag in the game, so I got solution to it. So if you are playing on high ping, then chances are you can't compete with pro players during close combats. Check link in description and install the app. This Gear Up Booster app is designed to fix ping problem instantly, because its servers gives low latency and can fix lag and ping problem in the game. So search for Call of Duty Mobile, and I will recommend you to use Middle East server and click boost. Now, you can play Call of Duty Mobile on low ping, and this will make your fast movement and fast reactions more like a pro. So let's get back to the setting. When you turn the setting to on, then when you click on aim button then scope animation will become more smooth and realistic. So for better understanding, let's make this setting to off. Now when you open scope then animation will be more fast, but when you turn the setting to on, then you will see lit smoothness in opening animation. Number 3, Animation Blend. When you turn the setting to on, after this when you switch weapon or check weapon then animation will be much smooth, and in higher devices when you use high settings, you will see little blur effect while switching weapon or on weapon check. Number 4. Teammate HUD Setup for Multiplayer A big change can be seen for multiplayers, so open your basic setting, and at bottom, you can see new setting that is Teammate HUD Setting. So let's discuss this setting in detail. So there are three main options for health bar, when you use on setting then health bar of the teammate can be seen while he will be near to you, and when you turn on residual mode, then you will see enemy health bar while he is behind any object. And when you turn the setting to off, then you can't see teammate health bar in any case. You can also change teammate's health bar opacity, and also you can change the size of health bar. In ID display mode, when you use ID setting then teammate's name can be seen, but when you turn mark setting to on then only a dot will appear on teammate. And when you turn on perspective teammate, then your teammate can be seen behind any object, and behind wall. But when you turn it off, then you can't see teammates. So for better gaming, make the setting to on always. Number 5 1P Depth of Field. 
So this setting was available previously, but this time, they increase the depth of field and little blurry effect while you check your weapon or switching weapon. So for better understanding it let's make this setting to off. This setting is for first person mode. When this setting is off then animation looks normal. Now let's make this setting to on and see the difference. Now, the animation looks much smoother. Number 6. Change in HUD. New changes has been made in HUD setup where a new setting has been added where you can choose between simplified HUD and currently using HUD. But if you guys finds any more changes then tell me in comment section. Number 7. Pumped Class Update. If you are a Pumped Class user then this new Season 4 will make you depressed because they removed the two fingers jump option where you use two fingers to get maximum height. And also, they reduce the height of pump class. But I got a little solution to it. Normally, when you use pump class, then either upgrade the class to get height or use this trick. Instead of using pump class while standing, just sprint and then use pump class. With this trick, you will get some more height than normal height for the season. And this trick will be apply for jet boost class also. tags and help them return to the battle. Number 8. New Login Setting. Good news for those players who want to use their Gmail ID like Apple users who can sign in with their Apple ID. So new Gmail sign-in setting is now available. Number 9. Variable Rate Shading. If you are using high-end device, then this setting will be available for you. Basically, when you turn the setting to on, then it will reduce rendering resolution of some areas, and object means this will render the map areas fast, and will make process fast to reveal object or some areas for you. Number 10. Screen Space Ambient Occlusion Setting. This setting is also for high-end devices. When you turn this setting to on then this will not only make graphics realistic, but also enhance shadows of the objects and make some darken look for objects. Number 11. Super Resolution. This setting will make your graphics more realistic. When you turn this setting to on, and this will make your graphics more smoother, but it will cause heat up and lag in the game. Hope so. These new settings in this season 4 will help you out in improving your gameplay. So if you have any questions and suggestions then comment me below. And also don't forget to like this video and share and subscribe my channel. And hit bell icon to get notifications for my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video then like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel.